I will want to say with respect to the Calypsonian that some of us are old enough to know that at Carnival, this is what Calypsonian do. It's nothing new. There were the days of Ellie Matt and Starsfield and Sweeney, and every year was a political bacchanal. So I would say, sing Calypsonian, sing. <laughs> sing Calypsonian, sing. Because at the end of the day, these are all part of what happens in the political marketplace. And I don't know that the songs and lyrics of any Calypsonian affect the political outcome in the end. We enjoy, we laugh, and so on and so on. <laughs> so I encourage all of them in the new era of democracy which we have brought where people are free to sing without having to be victimized. Sing, Calypsonian, sing. And finish your song. And finish your song. <laughs> finish your song. Because some of them are not complete. So some will need to be finished. So I, I wouldn't be sidetracked by, by that. What I do know is that team unity is the miracle that was not to happen. And still some people are having to adjust to what team unity means. A difference in the way we do things. Not an exchange at some wanted real change. That is why you speak, for example, about some of the things people talk about. Well, electoral reform takes time and consultation if you are going to do it properly. They talk about the new boundary case. Well, the new boundary case is in the court, so we can't do anything to hasten that once the matter is before the court. There was a time in the life of the country when a leader came to parliament and he said, well, the judge gave us time. And the judge had to say, well, this leader is a stranger to the truth. So we can't engage in that same kind of behavior. We told the public what we are doing with the SIDF. We have put it in the hands of professional people. We could either cut them loose and substitute their professional view by our own views on these matters. So we are saying if people really want good governance, they have to understand good governance is about processes and procedures and transparency. And these things will have to go their course. And that is really what is happening. We take pride, as you must take pride, and every loyal citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis must take pride in what we have been able to accomplish in our first term, which is far yet from ending. We know not everyone fully believed that team unity would have happened. Some say it would never, and yet it did. Some said we, didn't, we would not last for three weeks, then six weeks, then six months, and yet we are continuing. Every day yesterday I was at the hospital. Was it yesterday we were there? Monday. And a lady in a bed held my hand. You're doing a wonderful job. Don't bother with them. Keep it on the path just so. And before I left the hospital, about six other patients on their bed, ill. In a relative mood and atmosphere, they understand what is happening. So a lot of people don't get caught up within a saying. They will always have those people with their vendetta, with their personal interests, looking at their own advancement and not that of the country because there are things that people voted for which we are doing and have done so well. I could think of the fact that people voted to get the injustice done to the former sugar workers corrected, and we have corrected that. When the last administration paid 968 <coughs> former sugar workers, in our terms so far, we have paid over 2,000. People voted for that. People voted for us to remove, as we promised, the VAT and food and medicines and educational supplies. People voted for that. And people have voted for the new Mary Charles Hospital, which we have built in less than two years, brand new. People voted for that. People voted 
for the cancer wing, if you will, which we have built at the JNF Hospital, taking into account the prevalence of cancer in the country and within the region, people voted for that. People voted for home building. That is why the first time homeowners program continue and have attracted support for market financing for over 300 people. People voted for that. So if Calypsonian only knows some of the things that people ain't vote for, there are more that persons have voted for and which we are doing. Sing Calypsonian, sing. That is the response to that. We are continuing on that part. Some people say we are slow, we are deliberate. And certain things it is better to make a slowly with respect to these things. But I look on our achievement, independently a judge. Social security records say the largest number of persons employed in the country happened on the team unity. Sing Calypsonian, sing. People voted for that. And we could go on and on in relation to these matters. The largest quantum of wages ever paid in the history of Social Security happened on the team unity. Sing, Calypsonian sing. People voted for that. These are the things that we promise we will do. People voted for us to bring a resolution to the shift system that existed at Barstay High, thanks to the instrumentality of the Deputy Prime Minister, within one year, we brought an end to the shift system in Barstay. People voted for that. People voted for us to bring a brand new Barstay High School. We are budgeting for it to start in 2018. People voted for that. And in every sector, we could boast about the things that people voted for and people are receiving. So the majority of people do not share the view. But in a healthy democracy, we respect the views of people, even when their view is a minority view. And there are times in democracy when there is a vocal minority, and we can't put stop upon that. And the time is still in advance of us. And so in time, even the doubting Thomases can come. Some have said that we should have turned away all these people, that we have been slow. That has been a contention. We hear in some of the songs, some people, that people won't turn away. But we said that wasn't what the people voted for, because we promised no victimization. So when a man comes and he says, turn away Peter and Paul, we say, that's not what we promise. That's not what people voted for. People voted for a chance for a difference, no victimization. People remember hearing that by previous administration, and they wonder whether it will be all talk, and we have assured them. And that is why some of the people, you call them, what term did you use, your phraseology? Hangovers, some may call them as. But we see government as being continuous. And the test we use is a simple one. If there are members of the former administration who are performing their work professionally, confidentially, we will want them to continue to serve the country. Because that is what they are serving. The country, we will give them that opportunity if they try to undermine the government if they are disrespectful of the government and unattentive to the implementation of the government program, we will do what rational people expect of us. And these are some of the issues that have created some struggling for people who knew when Labour come and they would say if Labour were there, all those people, Douglas, would have done fire. Well, we say, but we, we promise something different from Douglas. And they are right, Douglas would have done fire, a lot of them. But we have said, no, it is different. And it is different because we also are a broader group. If Douglas was there, Nevis would have had very little and had very little to show when Douglas was there. 
If Douglas was there, there would have been a probability that the bank would have prevented the salaries being paid to civil servants. But there is no probability of that happening under Team Unity government. And it will take some time for some people to understand what was, what is, and what we want to consecrate the future. I take great pride that here today is a minister of the former regime, Richard Keynes, an outstanding citizen who doesn't need labor, doesn't need power. All he needs now is God, because he has enough money. <laughs> but he has stood consistently with team unity, its values, its principles, because he believes. I take confidence in the fact that Mr. Politics, day after day, understand the realities of politics. And he continue to do what he can do. And even Rock, God bless Rock, understand that these are changing times with new imperatives and Rock continue to hold faith. So we will have a mixed bag, mixed bag of responses to this. Our job is not to lose focus, it's to do what that patient at the JNF said, hold strain, you're doing the right thing. You're doing the right thing. And not everybody is talking. Sometimes those who are not talking are doing what every citizen should be doing, thinking about the times. And they are happy. You see it in the church when we go there. We see it in the supermarkets. We see it everywhere we interact with people in the barbershop. So I don't ever lose focus on the big picture for the country. And one of our outstanding success. Notwithstanding the NSA saying, we are a strong cabinet and a strong team. We are working together. So those who think that they are going to see some breakup of team unity that allow them to get back to power, I said to them, they're in for a very, very long wait. They're in for a very long wait. Because what brought us together was the will of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis to see us put aside our party affiliation, the PAM, the PLP, the CCM, and come together in a new construct promoting unity. And so the operation of the government has to be different. The senior minister would find working in this government to be an elevating and edifying experience than if he had to work with the last administration. That is what the people voted for. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. and watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.